Research is showing the lungs of COVID-19 patients appear worse in x-rays than those of smokers. Western Mass News reporter Kaylee Puglis is getting answers from a local microbiologist on what kind of long-term effects the coronavirus could have on your lungs, even if you don't initially experience symptoms. When you're infected with COVID-19, a mild case of the virus can stay in your nose, your throat, and your upper respiratory tract. But in some cases, it may make its way to your lungs. And so your immune system has to fight this off. You've got this virus in your lungs. It's a bad thing. And so your immune system starts to fight it. And this fight between your immune system and the virus causes physical damage to the lungs. Dr. Erica Hamilton with UMass Amherst tells Western Mass News the lungs are an organ that's filled with little balloons or tiny air sacs where oxygen comes into the body and carbon dioxide leaves. So there's scarring, so actual scar tissue can build up and because the lung is such a delicate organ, it, that scar tissue stops oxygen coming in. Other things that can happen include blood clots and those little air sacs could actually start to disintegrate or collapse. All of this stops oxygen from being able to get into your body. So you're left with a patient who basically can't breathe very well and it causes shortness of breath, um, excessive coughing, coughing, it leads to fatigue, it can lead to heart problems. Studies are now showing lung x-rays of people who've been infected with COVID-19 looking worse than the lungs of people who've been smoking for years. Here's a side-by-side -side of it. The healthy lungs are clean with a lot of black, meaning lots of air. The white lines in the smoker's lungs indicate scarring and congestion. The COVID lungs are mostly white. After COVID recovery, some continue to suffer from lingering neurological and heart problems. And while some might not feel it right now, impacts from damaged lungs like these could lead to severe problems later on. Hamilton says these patients are called long haulers. And while patients who are older and have underlying health conditions seem to be more at risk, Dr. Hamilton says many young, seemingly healthy people are suffering just as much. Not only should you be worried about getting COVID, COVID for the short term, wow, I, I'm sick, but you've also got this long term component to it, which may end up causing a, a lot of health care issues and a strain in our health care system and a strain on the people who have caught it. For Western Mass News, I'm Kaylee Puglis.